I'm absolutely sick to my stomach. We CC's World TV, come along for the ride. Crazy and funny with family by my side. Every snap a story, every smile a dream. In my wild world. Hey, what's up? It's your girl CC back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I hope you see something that inspires you to subscribe. And if you're already a family member, welcome back, fam. Hey, friend. Hey. Anywho, you guys, I am actually recording this intro as I'm recording my outro. So I will see you guys in the vlog. Hope you enjoy. Y'all, I started this vlog off with a cute montage of making bread. I'm still making the bread, but um, in the middle of dinner, prepping for dinner, we got a phone call. Y'all know that Gabe plays football. He had an away game today, so we did not go. And we got the phone call that every parent dreads getting we know when we sign our kids up for these sports that you know there's a chance that they may get hurt and blah 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 blah. he is a junior in high school he has been playing football since kindergarten he loves this sport um and this is the first time that he's been like injured injured yeah so Needless to say, him and his father are at the urgent care. Excuse me. They're at the urgent care getting x-rays, getting x-rays right now. Basically, Gabe did a play. He went down for a block. He got the block, but when he got up, his shoulder was dislocated. They tried to pop it back in place. After five times on the field, they can no longer try. So we had to transport him to the doctor's office. So I am just waiting for the update. It is almost 9.30 at night. I'm lit, like I put Tootie down for bed. I've washed all the dishes. I still need to wash the mixing bowl, but like I literally cannot focus you guys. I cannot focus. I'm absolutely sick to my stomach. We never want our children to be hurt. Yeah. I just... I just don't know how to feel. Like, I, I cannot stand for any of my children to be in pain. But, you know what? Thankfully, thank you, Jesus, it's just a dislocated shoulder. It could have been... 10 times worse, so, you know, I'm grateful that it's just a dislocated shoulder. He's not crying or anything like that. If you guys know Gabe, he is my quiet, cool kid, so he's super, like, chill about it. He's just like, Mom, I'm really, like, he's bummed that he's he wasn't able to finish the game, and um, he doesn't know what this looks like for the rest of his season, his junior year of high school. But I'm like, it could have been your senior year, you know, could have been the first game. So he's a little bummed about it. He knows he'll be out for a couple of weeks and, um, let me turn this timer off. But yeah, so <sighs> y'all, I got a hair, <laughs> I have a hair appointment tomorrow and. I still have a full head of weave that has to come out before in the morning. Luckily, y'all know, y'all know Raven, she fools with me. And so I can probably just come in there with just the weave taken out and she'll be all right. 
But like if I still have my weave braids in, she'll probably be okay with that. But I got to get this weave out, child. Got to get it out. So I'm going to do that in a little bit. But yeah, clearly the bread montage is not happening. Okay. Um, Grayson's sister came in the house last night with Uncrustables, which he then wanted. And so I am going to be gone this weekend um, to see my baby daddy. So um, I wanted to make sure that his dad didn't have to like do too much. So there's plenty of food in there for them to eat. It's only going to be like... I think either I'm leaving Friday or Saturday, but I'll be home Sunday. So it's not like I'm going to be gone forever. There's plenty. When I say plenty, there's plenty of freezer meals in there for them to choose from. There's plenty of food in the refrigerator for them to choose from. Gabe's probably going to be home and eating his way through his pain. So I might have to um, figure that out. But I was like, let me go ahead and make toots some bread because y'all know y'all friend he loves a peanut butter jelly sandwich and i made bread the other day but i made bread with his dad and mine and so i made like baguette bread so for sandwiches for his dad for his lunch and so i did not make any loaf bread so i just made if y'all hear that's missy i just made um so i'm making a loaf of bread and then i was just watching um I was just watching Avi's video and she was making Uncrustables and I was like, girl, you could definitely make a couple of Uncrustables. So shout out to her. But that idea definitely will be utilizing that idea because I have an Uncrustables maker and I've never used it. I bought it from Pamper Chef years and years and years and years ago and it just follows us from house to house to house to house to house. Um, I think I bought it when we were stationed either in Japan or Hawaii. One of the two, but... It, because Gabriel also was a peanut butter jelly sandwich lover. So with that being said, yeah, I'm waiting for my big boy to get home. I'm going to take my hair down. And I think that's about it. Oh, the boys did put together. You see, we, we had big plans. We had big, <laughs> we had big plans today. No decorating got done today. Hopefully I'm able to get a little bit done tomorrow. But they did get your boy up. So, he is up. The plan was to do outside today. Obviously, that's not happening. Um, Grayson was really excited, but, you know, things happen. Stuff takes precedence, and we move forward, press on. So, hopefully, we will press on tomorrow. Um, when the bread is done, I'll bring you guys back, or I'll show you guys that in the morning. I have been responding to your comments on the previous video. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. One of my amazing subscribers sent me um, coffee from some Starbucks cash. So I'm going to make sure I utilize that tomorrow, girl, because I know I'm going to need it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Toodles. So y'all just egg wash the bread before it goes in what we're looking like and I know a lot of you guys um do watch my videos for my cooking content and I appreciate it and I do get a lot of comments that be like girl like what are you doing I know that I am a cookbook fanatic and so a lot of times I use you know how like when you go to school for like medicine or like my husband example he goes to school for music so we have a lot of music books around the house that he uses for reference um, for like different things. So for me, I use cookbooks as reference books. If it's something new, I'm definitely going to do it the way that the recipe says for the most part. If I know, like if I get a hunch or inkling or like, oh, I want to do it this way, then I'll do it that way. But I use my cookbooks as a reference guide. So I know a lot of you guys are like, girl, what kind of cookbooks do you have? Like somebody asked me to do like a haul of all my cookbooks. I'm not going to do that, but what I will say is this Vlogtober, I do want to at least give you guys a recipe, a video. I'm going to try my best um, to 
to do that. I'm not saying every video will have a recipe in it from a cookbook, but I will try my best because I know a lot of you guys do look forward to the cooking content. You guys know I make a lot of stuff from scratch. Um, and I just want you guys to walk away with the notion and knowing like it can be done. It can be done. There's a lot of things that I didn't know how to make from scratch or could be made from scratch that I now know I can like bread for instance it's one of the things that I actually enjoy making from scratch I like making different variations I'm starting to get into cookies before chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin were like my two go-to cookies but um now I'm starting to get more into cookies I'm starting to get more into pasta stuff like that so and meat stuff like that so I just want to make sure that you guys are able to walk away from my videos with a little bit of reference, a little knowledge, and you guys are able to take something away, um, even if it's just a smile. Like, even if this, these videos just make you smile, I hope that you are able to walk away with something. Um, I'm preheating the oven, and I'm gonna pop this bread in. Like I said, I will show you guys what it looks like in the morning once it's cooled, but yeah, so we'll probably, since I didn't finish showing you guys, the bread recipe, I will um, probably show you guys how to make peanut butter because it's simple. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Ooh. I'm about to go to bed. Don't don't mind me about the head, but let me show y'all Grayson's bread. Ooh, I'm oh, rhyming. Oh, hello, rhyming like that. You see Ty? I'm gonna show y'all what they got going on, but this is the bread. And it's on its side. Hold on. The bobo. It's the bobo. This is how his spread came out. And these girls have taken over the kitchen. We got some lobster pasta. Got some lobster, y'all. This butter right here. This is good butter. Here we go. Here we go with the garlic and herb. Yeah. All okay. right. They in here making lobster pasta. <laughs> and I'm going to bed, so. Toodles, noodles. Hello, party people. I've, it is the next day. I have been to the salon to get my hair done. I'm on the phone with my sister. Um, and when I tell you I cannot wait to crawl back in my bed, take a little nappy nap, and then I'm going to get back with y'all. I cannot wait, but I wanted to come on here and say, hey, um, it's like one o'clock. Gabe is fine. His shoulder is dislocated. I'll get y'all the whole rundown. Um, but I just wanted to pop on here and say, hey, so I'll see y'all when I wake up. I'm in the kitchen with Gabe. With my one arm bandit that's scratching this major. Stop. The people was concerned about you last night. You, they can't see you. You gonna tell them what happened? I'll go let Major and you tell them what happened with your other good arm. Uh, well, yesterday we was playing the game. We was playing uh, a game. I went in and I got to love, and he need me in my like in between my neck and my shoulder, and it dislocated. And they said I should have, because it's not my first, not my first time dislocating my arm. And they said after that I should have been in rehab after the first few times. So since it's probably since I never like took care of it after it got dislocated, it's bound to happen again. So, so I, I didn't know you dislocated your arm before. Ah, but that's just, that's when it's my fifth time. This is my first time ever knowing about it. I just located it when we first got to North Carolina and then like a few more times at school. But it normally just popped back in just like that. Like, yeah, that's why you ain't tell your mama. You ain't tell your mama why? Because you think I, cause you think I worry too much? No, because I because my dad said he it would be okay. Your dad said. He said it's normal, so your dad said, huh? Yeah, alright. So He's doing okay. He's home, up and moving around. I'm in here doing his chores. So, he probably laughing and smiling about that, ain't it? Yeah! 
It's funny. You just throw it, just throw it dishes in the sink. Just keep throwing them in there. Just take two sips out the cup and put it in the sink. I was always taking medicine. I was taking medicine though. Anywho, y'all, I'm setting up to show y'all how to make this peanut butter. I'll be right back. I just wanted y'all to see Gabe. I know I told y'all I was gonna show y'all how to make peanut butter, and I am. But first, we gotta find an outfit so I can go see my baby daddy on Saturday. However, somebody else needs an outfit just because it's Thursday. So we are at the mall. I don't think I'm taking y'all in with me, but I'll show y'all what I got when I come out. Home, y'all. It is 9 o'clock at night. Let me show y'all what y'all friend got. He don't want to show y'all his clothes, but he got him some clothes from American Eagle. Not important, just some jeans and a shirt. I don't have my outfits together. I got things that I was not supposed to get. Um, Skittles for some freeze-dried Skittles. Probably for my uh, party. I did go to Le Creuset. And y'all friend gifted me uh, um, a mini cook. Coquette, it's the, I'll show y'all. It's the Halloween edition, but. It's just black. Um, I don't want to take it out yet. But it's just black and then it has bats on the outside. So I think for my party, I'm going to do like. A little dip situation so that's where all my coquettes will come into hand i'll probably make a couple of different dips and put them in the mini coquettes i think don't hold me to it if y'all have some ideas let me know and then oh! i need this like i need another i don't know pair of jeans i don't need any more jeans but It's limited edition, so I got it. Uh, like we say, bat mug. It's super cute. We'll put it on the coffee bar when we do that. We went to Simply Southern. And we just got some fall shirts. So I'll show y'all those. It's got this one. This one and this one. So just some fall little, some cute little fall shirts I'm really excited about. And that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and make this peanut butter so I can slice this bread. So all you need for peanut butter is really, really, it's really, really simple. Obviously, you need peanuts. We like honey roasted peanut butter, so I am doing honey roasted peanuts. I never measure mine, but... Ooh. I guess I can today. So I'll do one, two, cups. two cups of peanuts. I'm just going to put a little honey in there because I like mine with a little extra sweetness. top on and just blend it that's it all 
All right, y'all. So, voila, peanut butter. I'm just going to put it in this mason jar. Two to sleep. We're well, getting ready for bed now. So, it will be ready for him in the morning. You can definitely do this in a um, food processor if you don't have a blender. But, we just use our blender. And you just blend it down to the consistency that you want. If you like it chunky, blend it a little less. If you like it smooth and creamy, blend it until it's to your liking. But our jar is full. I'll pop a top on this, pop it in the fridge, and it'll probably be gone before the week is over. It's perfect. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, we're gonna cut this bread open in a minute, so I'll be right back. Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. I turn them on. Okay, you want to see what mommy made for you today? Mm -hmm. Stay right there. Close your <laughs> eyes. Remember the other day you had a fit. What did you have a fit about? Rose. Take your hands off your eyes. Mom. What did you have a fit about? Rose. Rose? Not Rose. You did have a fit about Rose, but what else? Do you remember? Uncrustables. And mommy made you some Uncrustables. With peanut butter and jelly. Strawberry what? jelly. What? Sandwich. That's my sandwich. I made you your own sandwiches. You can't have nothing. You make them homemade bread, homemade peanut butter, homemade jelly. They don't want you that. Know, this is for me. I know that's for you. And it's Mickey Mouse. And it's Mickey Mouse. Anyways, y'all, I'll see y'all a little bit. You gonna eat two sandwiches? Or you only gonna need one sandwich? Two? All right. We got some more in the freezer for tomorrow and the next day, okay? And then we'll make some more. Mommy did a good job. You were supposed to help me make the peanut butter and you didn't help me. I had to make it all by myself yesterday. Well, it's Grayson approved, so that makes me happy. Life is life, man. I'm definitely going out of town tomorrow. I'm trying to get this done for y'all. This coffee bar area. Excuse me, I'm eating my lunch. Well, brunch, Brenton, early dinner. So I'm going to take all of this off. Start from scratch. And yeah. I'll bring y'all back when it's in progress. Y'all don't need to see me take all of this down, wipe it off. I'm going to take everything down, wipe it down, put it all back as needed. So I'll see y'all when it's time to put stuff back.
And I just recorded everything in Hyperlapse. Anywho, we went to Walmart. We went to Michael's. I picked up a few things for the party. I'm not going to show you guys what I got for my um, little Halloween party because everybody that's attending watches my channel. Um, so, yeah, I don't want to spoil the surprise for them. I'm really excited about it. It's my first time, like, hosting a little event. So, I'm getting my hostess with the mostest feet wet. Um, I'm excited. So... Yeah, we are getting ready to go finish this coffee bar area. And I do got to stop by Le Creuset to grab something just in general, not for the party or anything like that. But yeah, mission accomplished. We got everything we needed. I think so. I think so too. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. We're home from the store and I got my coffee bar area situated for the most part but i just wanted to add a few finishing touches so i'm gonna time lapse you guys again and we're gonna finish this area up so let's get started Alright, our coffee bar area is done and I am so excited. Are you guys ready? Let's take a look. So first we just have our little mudroom corner with our skelly girl spiders. I think the spider web <coughs> and the spiders took it to the next step, to the next level. So this is what we're given. And then this is the coffee bar. I absolutely love it. I'm, I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. Um, functional, cute, not really scary, but definitely in the spirit. And yeah, I'm about to go help the boys with a little bit of stuff outside. And then I got a pack, so. Good morning, good morning. It is early Saturday morning and I'm headed out of town, which means you guys will not get this video until Sunday evening or Monday at the latest. But I wanted to show you guys the decorations. So this is what the front of the house is looking like. Let me walk up. Show y'all. We got Zipunkins. And then we got the skeleton. All right, y'all, I gotta go. My ride is here, but With that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you saw something today that inspired you to subscribe. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mama them, tell your daddy them, tell your sister them, tell your brother them, tell your auntie them, tell your uncle them, tell your cousins them, tell your friends and them. Tell all of them to get on over here to CC's World TV because we got a lot going on and you don't want to miss it. I will see you guys in the very next video. Toodles noodles. Let the good times flow. CC's World TV, come on.
routine. Make up all fleek, I'm ready to slay. Traveling far, living like my way. Found me by my side through thick and thin. 